Hello, and welcome to an unboxing that I uh, did not think would necessarily ever happen, because it was not really a title I uh, was looking for. I mean, I was aware of the title. Uh, this is from the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library. This, my friends, is Who Goes There by John W. Campbell Jr. Uh, more importantly, this is the deluxe edition from Angel Bomb. Um, so I was aware of this edition. This edition came out two years ago, I believe. Uh, it received rave reviews from those who I've seen who have purchased it. Uh, it's beautiful, fine press, leather press edition. Uh, it was released in a numbered and a deluxe. And this is a big, this is a tall volume. This thing is just under uh, a foot tall. Um, but anyways, uh, this was actually announced around the same time that Arate announced uh, Frozen Hell by Campbell, uh, which is the uh, novel version of this novella. Uh, this uh, this novella was from the 1930s, a uh, very famous novella, science fiction horror novella. Uh, was adapted famously into uh, two very famous adaptations, uh, the Howard Hughes... Hughes? Or Howard Hawks? There's, I, I'm pretty sure it was a Howard, Howard Hawks uh, produced. Uh, Hughes was the, you know, the aviator. Uh, the Howard, but he did produce films as well. <laughs> the Howard Hughes produced uh, Thing from Outer Space uh, back in the 50s, and the John Carpenter The Thing uh, from the 80s. Look at that. Even little, even little pieces there say, who goes there? John W. Campbell. Uh, this does have a nice little die-cut uh, secondary polar expedition Antarctica inlaid into the cover here. Um, as I was saying, this is a very famous novella from the 1930s. Uh, it was discovered 80 years later. I mean, I think it was 2018 was when uh, it was finally published as the Frozen Hell, the novel version uh, that had been restored from Campbell's manuscripts. Uh, so this is deluxe edition. I mean, it has a very fancy, uh, nice little portfolio-style uh, enclosure. Nice little triptych of the Antarctic, uh, Antarctica with the uh, expedition's notes throughout. So look at that. Antarctica meteorological survey map, Drake's Passage, all sorts. The thing in ice... Um, is this supposed to... Oh, it is! Okay, I was going to say, is this This is opening up a little bit, because it's actually got a little portfolio in here. Uh, the deluxe edition does come with these five letterpress prints as well, suitable for framing. Uh, so we have one, we have two, and these we will see these illustrations in the novella itself. Uh, these illustrations are by, by uh, Todd Theiberg, who is actually... Oh, the, the numbering is on here as well. This deluxe edition was uh, 50 copies. Uh, this is two of 50. Look at that. Uh, but I love, I love the look of it. That is incredible. The blood test there. I don't know. Is, is this, are each one, it looks like each one is actually hand signed and hand numbered by Thyberg, which is really cool. It's not like that's part of the print. I obviously can't be part of the print because you got to change the limitation number. So that is really cool. You have the man thing right there. Uh, if you're not familiar with the story of who goes there, it's about an expedition of scientists in Antarctica who discover uh, a UFO in the ice. They discover uh, they discover some alien life forms. They don't really know what it is, but unfortunately, the thing does thaw and uh, is suddenly out amongst the people. And if you haven't seen at least The Thing by uh, the John Carpenter version, you need to go check that out. Uh, so this, as I said, is the original novella Who Goes There, uh, as published by Atomic... Oh my god, a top bomb? I literally... Oh, look at that, it's got McCready. Did he sign it as McCready? That almost looks like it's actually signed... You can't see this right now. Let me move this so you can actually see it. I mean, these other notes, like Blair, 
That's actually printed on there. That's not handwritten. But in the corner there, it says McCready, and you can almost see like the graphite sheen to it, like almost like he, he did, in fact, sign it as McCready, which is incredible. That's awesome. I'm going to fight with these prints in a minute because uh, there we go. I want to get him back in there. Angel Bomb. What did I call it a minute ago? Angel Bomb is the name of the publisher. Uh, Angel Bomb is very much a one-man operation, as far as I could tell. It is Todd Byberg's uh, operation. Todd Byberg, I mean, he obviously didn't write who goes there. Uh, that would be John W. Campbell Jr., but Todd Byberg uh, designed this publication. He illustrated this publication. He printed the letterpress printing for this publication. Uh, I don't know if he did the binding himself, uh, but, I mean, if he did, then I am simply in awe at this man. Um, but, yeah, he this is like a one-man operation. He hasn't published much. I mean, obviously, because it is a one-man operation, that, that you're not going to be you know, cranking out publications every single, multiple, multiple publications a year. We do have multiple colors in these... Uh, in these illustrations, which is incredible. So it is obviously a very large size volume. I mean, this is barely fitting in the frames. I apologize for that. Uh, but, wow, that is cool. Did he hand embellish the colors of the eyes? It's almost like a different sheen to it. Like he colored it in himself, but I feel like that can't be right. I feel like it was just printed in two colors. Either way, that is an awesome illustration. Uh, like I said, if you haven't seen the thing, the John Carpenter version, you need to check it out. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I also mentioned Arate. Um, so Arate, over in uh, Europe, uh, did their own version of Frozen Hell, uh, which was illustrated by Gregory Manchester. Uh, that, if I was going to get one of the two at full price, that would have been the one I was going to get, just because I, I'm a sucker for Richard Tong bindings, and that is a full uh, blue leather uh, binding by Richard Tong. It almost looks like he did hand color those in, but I feel like that can't be right. Um, wow, this is incredible. Like I said, this was one of those ones where if I could get it for a great price, I would get it. Uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't justify the uh, list price, the uh, the published price for this. And I will say that I did get an exceptional deal on this. This was uh, one of those things where I'm like, I, I can't turn that down. I need, to, uh, I need to go take advantage of this, and I will share this purchase with you. But hot... Damn, this is incredible. And you can actually see, oh my god, it actually, it's actually moving the text. That is so cool. Whoa. Damn, man. Um, yeah. Wow. And that's, like I said, that's over the course of several pages here. You got the blood dripping and interacting with the text on the bottom. That is so cool. Todd Byberg, I... Wow, I applaud this production. Um, I will say, I did look at the illustrations for Frozen Hell. I do love Gregory Manchester as an author, as an artist. I'm, I can't really speak for him as an author. He did, I, I should say, he did write a pictorial novel uh, above the Timberline, which I do own. Uh, I picked up a copy of that from the signed page years ago. Uh, I have not read it yet. Um, but I, I do love Gregory Manchester as an illustrator, but I, man, Thyberg is knocking it out of the park. Uh, one of the criticisms I heard of Frozen Hell uh, was that uh, Manchester, uh, with his beautiful illustrations, he does some beautiful landscapes, he presents a very mesmerizing Antarctica, uh, but he doesn't have enough of uh, the thing itself, which is a shame. Uh, so, wow, okay. Um, maybe one day I will get a great deal on Frozen Hell, and I will be able to show that off to you as well. Um, hot damn. Uh, so this issue was conceived by Todd Byberg. Let's see here. Uh, it's one of his favorite stories. Okay. 
Uh, after four years of work, holy crap. That's what I mean. Like, this is a labor of love. Uh, I knew, okay, so he did, he, he did have to get some outside help, understandably. Uh, Julie, Judy, Judy Gillitz, who set the type. Okay. Uh, binding was developed by Todd in conjunction with Campbell Logan Bindery. Uh, I wonder if, you know, I like the, it being Campbell Logan. Campbell, of course, being, you know, uh, also the, one of the author's names, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, coincidence, I'm sure, but it is. The medallion feature on the cover of the deluxe edition was designed, hand cast in resin, and painted by Todd. That is incredible. It was printed on Heidelberg, Heidelberg cylinder, polymer plates to produce a box of car press. Uh, it doesn't say where it was bound, unless I literally just read over it and just like glazed through it. Uh, it was printed on 100 pound eggshell text. Uh, I mean, this is. It, it, this is very nice paper. This is, of course, signed, signed by Todd Thyberg, number two of 50. This, holy crap, is stunning. If you are looking for a fine press edition of this novel, uh, this, wow, this is one that you can definitely, I can definitely get behind. Uh, like I said, it is pricier. I, I happen to get an incredible deal on this one. Uh, and I believe the price is really why, after two years, uh, there are still copies available on Angel Bomb's uh, website. Uh, so this was published in two editions. Uh, this is the deluxe edition. There was a standard edition as well. Uh, the standard edition, I believe, is the exact same printing. I mean, the contents are going to be exactly the same, paper type and so on. You're not really going to get any downgrades with paper. You're still going to get the incredible illustrations that Thyberg has done. Uh, the only key difference that I could tell from online uh is, as far as the binding goes, you're not going to get the leather quarter bound in leather. Uh, you're going to get quarter bound in. Uh, it's actually it's actually the same color as the leather here, uh, but it is cloth. So you have uh, your Japanese cloth. It's the same Japanese cloth. It's a nice blue Japanese cloth. But then you have the complementary. Uh, I don't know if it's Japanese cloth, but complementary cloth for that binding. Uh, that one does not come with this uh, triptych, like work portfolio style uh, in case encasement. I mean, but that is cool as hell. Uh, I actually don't, I, I should have looked it up. I don't know what the standard edition comes in. I don't know if it comes with a slipcase or anything. It might just be the book by itself. Uh, but either way, that is reflected within the price. Uh, the price is very affordable for a letterpress printed edition for that standard edition. Uh, it's really the deluxe edition here uh, where you're seeing a significant increase in the price. Uh, but let me tell you, this, if you can find or a uh, good deal on the deluxe edition, do not hesitate. The, and you want a fine press edition. This is stunning. Wow. Uh, makes you, I, wanna, I definitely want to check out more of what uh, Angel Bomb has done. Because uh, this is just incredible. Wow. Uh, they've done, like I said, several other titles. Uh, and one is actually a companion volume to uh, Who Goes There. Uh, it's a short story called The Things, plural. Uh, I don't know who wrote it. I couldn't find that on the website. Uh, I unfortunately didn't do as extensive a research as I should have done, uh, but it is a short story or a novella, uh, the same sort of story, except it's all from the point of view of the creature, the thing's perspective, uh, which is very fascinating. And the production quality of that looks incredible. Uh, that one, uh, once again, has a numbered and a deluxe edition. Uh, my fingers crossed and keep my eyes open that maybe I can find that edition for... Uh, cheaper as well, because uh, the amount of books I buy, I unfortunately cannot uh, buy it at the full price. Um, but what's really cool about that is that the publication and the artwork within it uh, is done with UV ink. So it actually reacts uh, to a UV light or a black light. Uh, so you had like almost like you had that image of the, the man thing that was in this edition. Uh, you have UV printed work around that man. You shine a black light and you get tendrils of the thing uh, showing under the black light. It is so cool. Um, most famously, I would say Angel Bomb 
uh, most famously did uh, 2020 a year retrospective, I believe it was called. Uh, this it was actually the first thing I saw by Angel Bomb, although I never knew them as a publisher. I just thought it was kind of like an art installation. Uh, back in 2020, they did. Uh, it was like a, it was a little dumpster, a little uh, printed dumpster, like a dumpster fire for uh, the year that 2020 was. I remember seeing that online. Uh, before I had really known who Angel Bomb was. Uh, so this is my first Angel Bomb purchase. And uh, if I can keep, you know, finding them for uh, affordable prices, I won't, it will not be my last because, wow, Todd Thyberg, you have made an incredible, incredible publication. Um, so, guys, thank you very much for watching. If I do purchase more Angel Bomb editions, I will unbox them on the channel here. So please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, to check that out. Uh, I also do plenty of other unboxings from other fine presses, including, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Arate. I do not have Frozen Hell, but if I do pick up Frozen Hell, I will do an unboxing for that as well. It'll be a nice kind of fun comparison between the two. Uh, and I also do at least one book review a week as well, so there's plenty of content on there for you to check out. Anyways, I know the video is going a little long here, but thank you very much for watching. Please check out Angel Bomb, and we'll see you around next time.